Okay, so we're gonna set up our lab to collect some data about whether gases can be trapped in ice. And we have an ice cube that was made from carbonated water and an ice cube made from non-carbonated water. And then we have our carbon dioxide indicator, um, BTB, over here in the beaker. So what we're gonna try is adding our ice cube made from carbonated water to a baggie. We're going to put our ice in the baggie and we're going to put one container of BTB in there. Seal it up because we want to test whether as the ice melts, does carbonated gas come out and if we leave it open, it might escape. Then in our second baggie, we have an ice cube made from non-carbonated water. We'll put that in our baggie and a second container of BTB. Again, close it up. And then we also said we wanted to have a container of BTB out in the room as a control to see if it changes. So to start, we'll just zoom in a little the color of our BTB in the carbonated water, the BTB in the non-carbonated water, and then the BTB out in the classroom or room where you're doing your investigation. And then in attempt to speed up this process, you might notice there's a cord here. I have this on a heating pad um, just to help increase the melting of our ice cubes so that we can see if there's a change in our BTB. So we'll check back in about an hour. Okay, so our experiment has been sitting for about an hour. Let's come and check and see if we've seen any changes to the BTB that is in each of our baggies. If we look at the one on the left, where the non-carbonated ice cube was, non-carbonated water ice cube. We can look at the color of the BTB. And if we look at the baggie on the right, that's where the carbonated water ice cube was. And then the BTB right here in the front <laughs> is from just out in the classroom. So I'm wondering, do you see any evidence that gas can be trapped in ice?